This song, to me, is the one that stands out the most on the record as dating back to the first Phineas album. It kind of captures the history of Phineas, I feel like, but it's got more of an updated version to it. Sean and I probably drove Bryce absolutely crazy writing this song. It was on an overnight drive, Bryce was driving, and we had hooked a guitar up and like through the van stereo system and just wrote for probably like eight hours and had gotten like all the riffs knocked out for this song and um, Bryce hated us by the end of the drive. When the intro on the song kicks in, the hook riff gets me every single time. I think these are some of the most powerful and personal lyrics that Sean has ever written. When the lyrics and the music crescendo together at the end, I remember the first time I heard it, I was, I was brought to the point of tears. I mean, it, it really moved me. My parents have pretty insane life stories. It kind of jumps back and forth between the perspective of my mother, who was brought up in Kansas under a lot of psychological and pretty crazy abuse. And just from there to my dad and his upbringing and how many trials he's, he's gone through and conquered, the song is very, it's pretty close to emotionally unbearable for me to listen to. Like, I love the song. It's just, it's hard to listen. The song ended up being something a little bit different than what I think we had all initially expected, but in like the best way possible. The song ended up being kind of moving and, and a lot of really cool vocal layers. It's a lot of fun to play. I, I find myself going back and listening to this one a lot, so really proud to have uh, been part of um, helping Sean with that song. Hey! 